What's up everyone? So last week I posted my build on this lamp here and while I was building it, I had an idea that this base weld right here is round and I really like welding consistent beads all the way around. So I thought, why not build a turntable? Back when I was uh, professionally welding, I did everything on a turntable. You, we used to do these little flanges for anti-icing tubes for aircraft. They're big, long, like 20, 30 foot uh, tubes with a flange. And so that was part of my job is just welding those. And we'd do everything on a turntable to do a nice, consistent bead. It was really cool. So I thought, you know, I really wanted those. And lots of guys have made different uh, variations themselves in their garage and most of them looked super cool. So I had to build one for myself. So this is what I came up with. I had most of the parts um, in strap metal at my work and some of the electronic stuff at home. Uh, one or two of them I bought from online. And uh, yeah, so let me break it down for you and I'll show you what I did to build this thing. So this is what I got. Um, when I set out to make it, I wanted something small and lightweight, something I can store easily, and also something I can turn around and you know maneuver easily. Um, where to start? Let's see, uh, start back here. Uh, I used a windshield wiper motor that I pulled out of, I don't know, is there a Forerunner or a Toyota of some sort? Uh, last time I was down at the pick apart, I thought, you know what, that's a cool motor. I should should do that and I should grab one of those in case I ever want to make a turntable and here we are um, the next big deals that we did were, or got were these bearings here I, uh, I was strapping out an old um, I don't know what the machine was but it had these big old bearings in there I'm like oh man I can't throw those away so again I'll save these in case I ever make a turntable here I am um, the uh, shaft I just uh, lays down to fit that because it was kind of an odd size um, the pulleys um, this guy here I think is a three inch pulley or three yeah I think it's a three inch pulley and then that guy right there is a one inch or one and a quarter uh, so I machined those I machined a cool little um, cone shape um, deal to fit the this guy onto here because this has a weird, um, it's like a cone with ridges in it that the other, that the actual windshield wiper handle screws onto and it's a real nice tight snug fit. Uh, really weird to mount to, so I got to machine a little cone, reverse it, screw it on there, and then make that pulley to slip over all that. Super happy with that. I think that was a, probably the most complicated piece. Um, made some risers to set it up above the um, above the bearing, and that's kind of the the main bits on that. The uh, the belt I think is an O-ring actually for something big. Not sure what, uh, but I'm not really good at like the maths in that ensign or in, in that like area so I started off at a three and a half inch deal I knew I wanted a one inch pulley coming off of this so I tried a three and a half and that was a little too big so then I came down to I think a three inch and put a nice groove in it and it fit perfectly um, yeah I mean th there was a little bit of trial and error there of like you know fitting it it fits okay eh, not not quite fit turn it down a little bit more eh, a little bit more and then I think I was happy at three inches um, this guy here is um, a little shoddy, but I'm sure there's better ways to do it. This is what I had on hand. They're just little copper strips to ground the, um, the what was it, shaft, the pulley shaft? I, I don't know what you'd want to call that. Uh, to the base and to the, uh, the, the work table because these are like grease packed and stuff and I don't want this arcing out. So it'd be a lot easier just to ground it straight through here, runs right up and into my, uh, my little tabletop up here. Uh, for the electronics, I started with a DC charging deal that, you know, after you throw away enough phones or computers or power wheels or whatever it is that you're charging, there's tons of little DC converters. And uh, so I got one of those. I think this one's technically 9 volt, but it worked for this, whatever. It's, it's still a DC out. It would probably be stronger on 12 volt, 
I don't know, I'm not an electrical engineer, it works. Um, back here, I have a potentiometer that controls the on, off, and the speed. I picked one of those up on Wish for either like a buck or three bucks or something like that. Um, and yeah, it was cheap and I thought, you know what, let's get one in case I ever make a turntable. So it turns on and off and does speed. I don't know, can, can you see the speed? Let's put my little GoPro up there. So welding super fast, way too fast for me. Or I can bring it way down to somewhere that, you know, I don't quite have my chops going. I go super slow. And I think I was doing almost like the slowest bit I could on this. I might add another pulley just to step it down one further, but yeah. And then from the potentiometer, I wired it into a six pole switch, which you can uh, wire it in such a way that you can reverse polarity. So goes one way, goes the other way. I know, I'm super impressed with myself. And yeah, so I think that's, I think that's everything. Um, yeah. So I hope you liked the video um, or my description of my build from before. Uh, if you want to see how I built the lamp or see more of that, go watch that video on my channel or in one of these tags or something like that. Comment below what you liked or didn't like or hope you're all well. Thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button or subscribe or don't or you know, whatever. And yeah, I'll catch y'all on the flippity flip.